What are the symptoms of copper deficiency? Are rose-colored spots on skin not covered by hair, particularly on the inner rear legs mm -hmm. near the abdomen, one of the uh, symptoms, or symptoms of it? And then what is the best way to correct that deficiency? Hmm. <laughs> well, I spent most of my time on... I'm very curious as to what you're going to say with this one. Oh, me too. So the, the whole rose-colored spots thing, have you seen those, do you know what you're talking about? A little bit. Okay, I've seen them. And yeah. you, you kind of see them more when the horse gets wet. Okay, oh to, yes, yes, yes. And the hair is, like she's talking about a place where there's not hair. Mm -hmm. I bet if she wet her horse and looked, she'd see more of them. I don't think those have anything to do with copper deficiency. The only thing that I could find about copper deficiency in horses, and it's not even in the NRC, which is my go-to, um, but it's, it's hair color. Hmm. But, but first, we'll go back to the NRC, and here's what they say. Notice there's no mention of hair. Okay. okay. Copper is essential for several copper-dependent enzymes involved in the synthesis and maintenance of elastic connective tissue, mobilization of iron stores, so anemia can mm -hmm. be a result, uh, preservation of the integrity of mitochondria, goodness, um, melanin synthesis. Okay, so that does. And detoxification of superoxide, so it has a ro role as an antioxidant. So yeah, so I'm thinking the melanin synthesis is, is let's go down that rabbit hole, shall we? Uh, I'm, let's, let's go, go okay. down it. So, so melanin is a pigment, and uh, the enzyme that's responsible for pigment, pigment production is, is copper dependent. Okay. So if you don't have enough copper, you can't make the enzyme that makes melanin. Yes, okay. I'm with you, I'm with okay. you. Without Phew. this, you can't have that. Right, Okay. so if you don't, if you're not making enough pigment, then in chestnut horses, um, and Nerida said uh, she, she looks at cattle first. They oh. seem to be the first, um, the, the canary, like they send the canaries in the coal mines. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're the first sort of um, signal of, of copper deficiency, maybe in the hay or pasture in the area. They, the Herefords are supposed to be this really rich copper, orange, red, almost color, like a liver chestnut. And when, when they become copper deficient, they turn this icky, light orange, yellowish okay. color. Okay. It's, yeah. It just, it looks muted. A little duller. Dull, yeah. yeah. And then uh, black horses, what they do is um, they, the tips of the hair, especially in Maine, Maine you'll see it, it turns kind of uh, rust or copper color mm -hmm. because they're losing their black pigment. Oh. And, yeah, and so and that's at the tips, not at the roots of it. Right, okay. right. So you see at the tips, and and another thought is that when you don't have a full dose of pigment, then when this when UV uh, radiation sunlight, it, you're exposed to it for a long length of time, your the the hair bleaches out easier. Well, that's, Be because yeah. it, there's not a full dose of like color there. Mm. So well, that's what I was going to ask you. Is like for as far as seeing like the tips on a black horse be a little like rusted looking, is how do you know that's not just from like sun bleaching or how do you know? But that's it's from I think it's related. related. Okay. It's, it's related and it could be copper deficiency. Now the trick and why I made such a face when you said how do you fix it? <laughs> mm. um, you call an Arida <laughs> because. The copper is a, a micro mineral or trace mineral, so you need it in very small amounts. And the NRC says 100 milligrams a day. And zinc is another one that also has a role in color. Um, that's 400 milligrams a day, so it's a one to four ratio. Okay. Um, if you don't have enough copper, then you may run into these, these other issues as well as um, color. Or if you have too much of other trace minerals that are either interacting or preventing the absorption of copper, mm -hmm. you run it. So, see, the interaction is tricky. Yes. So it's not as simple as just, oh, give him more copper. You, you because really, then you can impact another mineral. Yep. So if you think you have a horse with a copper deficiency, you probably should have the whole diet evaluated. Um, and then try to build from the ground up a balanced diet and not just add in things because you, I think you're going to make a worse problem just adding in copper. So you did bring up uh, Dr. Richards yes. and so I, we didn't explain Feed Excel at the beginning of this which I do apologize for um, but you can actually go on Feed Excel and put in your horse's complete diet from mm -hmm. grain to hay to supplements mm -hmm. and then it gives you this beautiful chart kind of showing where your horse is deficient and then where mm -hmm. your horse is doing really well in certain... It has like a, a the 100% line and then it, 
it has graphs, little little bars, and it says you're not quite there, or you're there, or you've even passed it. So it can kind of let you play around to see what you can do to get your horse to optimal mm -hmm. levels for certain uh, nutrients. So that could be a resource for you guys to take advantage of to mm -hmm. see where you guys need, especially for something like coppers, where it's so specific of yeah. like uh, yeah, and it's, and it's such a little amount that they need, but without that, they can't make the enzymes. And the enzymes, I mean, we see it on the outside because of the hair coat, but there's lots of stuff going on on the inside if the enzyme is not, not there. So hair coat color potentially could be a sign, mm -hmm. though the rose-colored spots on the skin, probably not. Probably not, no. Okay. No. And if she's concerned, I mean, ask the vet the next time he or she is out there, but um, I see those a lot, and they don't seem to be a problem, and they don't seem to spread, and... I guess I don't worry about them. All right, we won't worry about them then. <laughs>